Michigan farmers are warning legislators their industry and way of life is in jeopardy. Congressman John Molinar met Tuesday with farmers and agriculture group leaders for feedback on his Supporting Farm Operations Act. The proposed legislation would temporarily freeze the wage rate for migrant workers, a part of the H-2A visa program. Right now, the rate in Michigan is $18.50 an hour, the fourth highest rate in the country. Up North Live's Ali Baxter explains the effects of high labor costs and why it's a struggle for farmers to make ends meet. If something does not change, my generation will be last. Draining, disheartening, and soul crushing. That's how Michigan farmers describe an industry that they say doesn't have a secure future. We've got a, you know, a state, Michigan, that is just ideal for growing things and making things, and uh, we want to make this a strength. What started as a discussion on high labor cost grew into talking about issues that need an immediate solution. It doesn't look very smart what I'm doing right now. I'm still farming which is what Congressman Molinar says his bill is supposed to do, stop the bleeding of a broken system. You've got to make those investments for five to ten years down the road today, and we've all stopped. Farmers say they're discouraged from investing in their land long term because they could be out of business by the time that crop could be picked. I do not want to lose a family farm that's been in our farm for over 100 years. So we got to figure something out here. One farmer shares he's projecting a $3 million loss this season. Another says she's had no American workers apply for open jobs and has to rely on those H-2A migrant workers. But farmers say even their workers are worried and asking to be paid based on what the farmers can afford. They are saying stop it on our behalf because they have businesses, they have houses, they have families, they have futures in Mexico, just like we all do in this room. And they know it's in jeopardy in jeopardy because of cost and they say an unwillingness from retailers to buy a local product over a cheaper one. This farmer says he made a list of the number of local businesses he deals with each year and counted 42. Think of the effect that that has on everyone around you. Despite the heaviness in the room, what emerged was a resilience and determination to not be the last of their generation. I think that's something that's been passed down through generations. I mean, farmers are gamblers. They're people that work against things that are out of their control, um, the weather, um, many, many things that are out of their control. But um, this one feels a little bit harder to feel positive about. In Oceana County, Allie Baxter, Up North Live News.